Hi everybody, hope all of you are doing great. I've got two phones with me, iPhone 13 Pro Max and Motorola Edge 30 Ultra. I will be running only two benchmarks today. Okay, the first test we will run, uh, it is the Geekbench 5. So let's start with the test. So we're gonna run the CPU benchmark. Uh, the test may look, the interface may look different because uh, obviously these phones are running on a different operating system but at the end of the day test is same so we're going to run the cpu benchmark so cpu benchmark we started i'm going to fast forward the video from here and uh, i will be back when the results has been compiled Even though I started the test three, four seconds uh, late on uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it has compiled the test uh, earlier than uh, Motorola. So we've got a single core score on iPhone 1735 and the multi-core score of 4744. Let's see what the Motorola will come up with. Okay, it has been completed. So we've got a single core score of 1293 and a multi-core score of 4097. So iPhone performs 25%, approximately 25% better when it comes to single core performance. And in multi-core, it performs roughly around 15% better uh, in multi-core performance. So definitely iPhone, when it comes to the Geekbench uh, scores, iPhone is uh, well ahead okay let's run the compute test now okay so iphone is very fast compared to uh, metrola s30 ultra when it comes to compiling the result for this test so we got 14445 uh, score on uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max so you can see the iPhone 13 Pro Max performance against iPhone 12 it's roughly 30-35% better and uh, with uh, compared to 11 it's it's got double the performance okay we got a score on Geekbench and it's less than half on Motorola 6334 so Motorola is when it comes to uh, computing task the Motorola is performing close to iPhone 11 so iPhone is well ahead uh, when it comes to these tests so yeah that's kind of a surprise for me okay let's do the gaming benchmark now 3d uh, mark We got the scores on both the devices. We got an overall score of 3031 on iPhone and we got a 2748 on Motorola. Uh, we got 18.2 frames per second on iPhone, average frame rate. And average frame rate on Motorola is 16.5, 16 and a half frames. Uh, not a huge difference but Motorola is a brand new phone and iphone has been this 13 pro max has been out for more than a year now iphone 14 uh, series is out and iphone 14 pro max is roughly 5 to 15 percent faster depending on the task you are doing compared to iphone 13 pro, pro max so that's it from me today if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.